the difficulties facing researchers into the abduction phenomenon is developing a scientifically sound methodology. Taking up this challenge is Dr. David Jacobs. Over the past 30 years, Dr. Jacobs has worked with hundreds of alien abductees, often using hypnotic regression to uncover hidden memories. He then collates the results. There's implants, tissue samples, surgical procedures, steering procedures, and neurological engagement procedures, uh, gynecological procedures. And if they say something enough times that I realize this is happening, I will eventually add it to this list. His data has led him to the startling conclusion that the aliens are using humans to breed hybrids with a view to taking over the planet. One of the things that people began to talk about a few years ago was an increased amount of hybrid activity, often reproductive in nature. And they've been doing this uh, with, uh, with increased frequency to my uh, sort of consternation and to the consternation of the people who are describing this. What David has discovered is that there appears to be a pattern to the aliens' behavior. Sperm samples are regularly taken from male abductees. But for what purpose? More sinister still are the experiences of female abductees. Hybrids mate with you, and sometimes they, um, you know, they'll put in a fetus. They'd even harvest the eggs when I was just a little girl. I was pregnant and everything was going fine. Ten weeks after, it's gone. And I called my mother and she said, collect everything that you can and take it to the doctor. And when I got there, they tested it and they said there were fetal cells, but where was the baby? They are here for a reason. They are working towards a goal. Not only that, but they are doing this secretly. Uh, all of which makes me very uneasy. It seems the aliens may be removing these hybrid toddlers and placing them in vast incubators on board their craft. But why? All I know is that they're making copies of us. They're training them to, to act like us. This does appear to be an integration program. As an academic, I'm forced to follow the evidence, and that's where it leads me, even though I understand how crazy it is, and I'm embarrassed to talk about it in public. And I know that it, every time I, I say anything about this, it only redounds against me.